against count one. Not guilty. What is your verdict against count two? Not guilty. What is your verdict against count three? Not guilty. What is your verdict against count four? Not guilty. That breaking news in Genesee County, Mateen Cleves found not guilty on all charges. The jury reached its verdict within two hours today. Let's get right to Rachel McCrary and Rachel, a very emotional scene in the courtroom as that verdict was read. It certainly was. Yeah, it took jurors less than two hours to come up with that verdict for the former professional basketball player Mateen Cleaves. Him completely breaking down in tears after that verdict was read. And we did get a chance to catch up with him outside of the courthouse. You know, fighting for my life every day. Really? That's what it really? was. And, 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 yeah. and having to endure all of that, hearing that lie and being yeah. um, portrayed as an animal as a rapist. That's the worst. You, that's the worst person you can be is a rapist. Mateen Cleves relieved after a jury acquitted him today on criminal sexual assault and unlawful imprisonment. The charges stem from a 2015 incident at a Monday Township motel. The prosecution argued that Cleves took advantage of a woman after a charity golf outing. The prosecution claimed that the woman was highly intoxicated and that she tried to escape the Monday Township motel the two were in. But Cleves defense team says the two had consensual sex and he did not force her to do anything. Today, Cleves talked about what's next for him. My, my lawyers, every day, all of them, been telling me keep living. So I haven't stopped living, but I'm just going to get back to doing, because I didn't do anything wrong. So I'm just going get to back, get back to doing the same thing I've always done, spending time with my family, my friend. And Cleves also apologized to his wife and to his kids for them having to go through this ordeal. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.